Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing Kali Linux version 2023.3 inside VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. Before we begin, let's take a look at the minimum requirements. You're going to want at least 2 gigs of RAM, 4 is recommended, 20 gigs of hard disk space, 1 CPU core, but 2 is recommended, the Kali Linux image and VirtualBox and the extension pack. If you don't have VirtualBox installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. All tools and links will be in the description below. If you found this video useful, please give us a like. Now let's get to installing Kali Linux. I'm at my Windows 11 desktop. I can open up Google Chrome. And here we are at the Kali Linux website. It's kali.org. If you click on the download button right over here, it's gonna take us over to the download page. And we have the full ISO image file, as well as an image for virtual machines. In this video, I'm gonna be doing the installer image, which is the bare metal version. I'll make a separate video on this, which is quicker. Uh, but if you wanna get more customized, this is the one that we're gonna use. So we'll click on that, and it's gonna take us over to the installer image page. We'll scroll down a little bit here. We're selecting the 64-bit, and then we can click on the download button and it's just gonna download the image. I'll jump over to the next step when the download has been completed. And the download is now complete. It's right over here in my downloads folder. What I'll go ahead and do is minimize this window and I'm gonna open up VirtualBox. And here is my VirtualBox manager. As you can see, I have other versions of Linux and Ubuntu installed. I have guides for those in the description below. What we're gonna do right now is click on the new button. This is the guided method. What we wanna do is click on expert mode and we're gonna give it a name, I'm gonna call it Kali Linux. The default folder is fine. What I'm gonna do next is select the image which is in my downloads folder. Okay, and here is my downloads folder. I'm gonna select the Kali Linux image and click on open. We have the option to do an unintended installation where you can set the user information, but I'm gonna go through each step. So I'm gonna skip this part and I'm gonna go right over to hardware. Inside hardware, you need at least two gigs. If you have more than that, that's great. So you just wanna keep it within the green section. I'm gonna give it four gigs. Uh, you need at least one CPU to do this installation. If you want it to run a bit faster, you can kick it up a notch, uh, as long as you stay within the green space. Under hard disk space, you need at least 20 gigs. They have 25 listed here. This is gonna be more than enough. And then you can go ahead and click on the finished button. And here we are at our main VirtualBox Manager screen. We have the virtual image over here. We just have to select it and click on start to begin the installation. Here we are at the first screen. What we're gonna be doing is selecting the graphical install and then hitting enter. Okay, so the first section is gonna be for language. I'm gonna leave it as English and then click on continue. And then I'll be leaving the default location as United States and click on continue. For the keyboard map, I'm gonna be leaving it as American English. First up, we have the host name as Kali Linux. We're gonna leave it as is. Then we're gonna click on continue. Domain name, we can leave blank. For the username, you can put in whatever name you want. I'm just gonna put in Geekrar here. And then click on continue. That'll also be the account name. And then we can type in a password. And then click on continue. Configuration clock, you wanna select the time zone that you're in. I'll be leaving mine as Eastern. And we're gonna be using guided use entire disk. So we'll leave that selected and then click on continue. We'll also be leaving the partition disk that's available. Now, I just wanna note that this is your virtual disk and we'll be using it as all files in one partition. And now we can finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Now it just wants to confirm to write changes to disk. We'll just select yes and then continue. And now the installation is gonna begin. This might take a few minutes. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step. Now it's time for software selection. I'm gonna leave all as default and then click on continue. Next, we're gonna be installing the Grow Bootloader. I'm just gonna click on continue. We're gonna select our virtual disk and then click on continue. The installation is now complete. We're gonna click on continue and it's gonna reboot the virtual machine. And here we are at the login screen. What we're gonna be doing is typing in our username and password that we assigned during the installation. So I'll go ahead and type that in. Okay, and you just have to resize it a bit here. What I can do is go to the view menu up at the top and go into full screen mode, click on switch. This is in full screen mode now, so it feels like it's actually your desktop, which is the way I like to operate when I use virtual computers. Uh, but you can minimize it at any time by either going to the menu down over here, you can just click on this button and it'll scale it down. You can go over to the Kali Linux menu over here on the left-hand side, which has all the preloaded applications installed. You can go ahead and start using it immediately. 
If you're finding that this is not running as smooth as you want, you can shut this down completely and then go into the VirtualBox Manager, select it, and then click on the Settings button over here. And then inside here under System is where you can beef up the memory uh, that's assigned to it. You can also increase processors if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can maximize the video memory and you can do everything else directly from here and modify this virtual machine as needed. Uh, we'll just jump back over here and that's how you do it. That's how you install Kali Linux inside VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll also be doing the virtual image setup. So I'll link that in the description below if you just want to use the quick and easy way to get this done. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.